that's funny. Yeah. Hey, it was a blessing for you having me up this late, man. You know, I'm on the East Coast. I'll be in the bed right now. <laughs> oh man, I pre- man, I, I I genuinely appreciate you uh, uh taking some time out, man, and, and, right. and you really helping it tonight, huh? You solo in it tonight, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at home in, in my man cave. I I've been I've been chilling, waiting for this night. Oh, I, I appreciate you. Probably got to scoot your camera over just a little bit. Okay, right? this like, way. Yeah, perfect. Uh, right. uh, before we get into the NBA career. What does – is there the toughness that comes out of Cincinnati? Playing at, <laughs> what, what's in the water at Cincinnati? Well, since since Bob Huggins gone, it's been different. But, um, yeah, once I got there, man, and, and Danny Forsen recruited me. I don't know if you remember Danny Forsen. Oh, yeah, All-American. Our forward All-American. Uh, yes. Once I, once I went down to Cincinnati, because, you know, I'm from Cleveland. So once I went down to Cincinnati and seen the team and seen the seen the players, you know, a young Kenya Martin was number one pick. I mean, we had a nice squad. Melvin Levitt, former Cleveland guy too. So Bob Huggins is the type of guy. If you don't play defense for him, you ain't playing. Wow. <laughs> That's how I was. So hey. it was always tough and tough every day. Practice was just grinding, fights, I coaches bet. fighting players, players coaching. It, it was it was amazing. Wow, and you actually had out. You actually had Kenyon Martin as a freshman on on your junior team or, mm-hmm. or your mm-hmm. junior year. I would never thought Kenyon had been the type of player he was because he, so, he was so quiet in Cincinnati, but he was always a shot blocker and play hard. But once mm-hmm. I got drafted in '98, I think '99. I want to say '99. He broke his leg, but '99 he took off. Man, it was like I'm like, who is this kid, Kenyon? <laughs> <laughs> right, and right. and once he got to the M- NBA with New Jersey, he was a whole different guy in the NBA. No, 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 that's one hundred percent sure. And you talk about you getting drafted, you actually got drafted by the Lakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you see my Lakers. boy behind me in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about that experience. Talk about the experience of being drafted. I mean, it was a blessing coming from where I came from. You know, coming from Cleveland, Ohio. You know, we all got our hood story. Everybody got a, a story to tell when you came from the hood and the struggle right. and blah, blah, blah. But um, it was a blessing. And once I got to the Lakers, playing behind Kobe and Eddie Jones, Rick Fox, I mean, it was tough, man. The young Kobe Bryant, man, rest in peace, we miss you. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he was tough. And I've been watching him all day, posting pictures. Mm-hmm. And you see him got behind me. It's just, yeah. it's just, it's just hard to see him gone. It's mm-hmm. like, it don't seem real because I was just in L.A. as at, at his retirement, twenty seventeen. Wow! Yeah, mm-hmm. and um, what was it like in in was it ninety eight, ninety nine? Was that the year? Yeah, I got drafted in ninety eight. Ninety eight. What was that season like? What was that? Be- and and uh, Phil, take your time. What, we got time. Take your time. It was a lockout year, really. It sure um, was. It was a lockout year. Spurs, yep. One, two, and uh, the Spurs won the championship, but. Yep. It was just coming from me coming from Cincinnati to, to the NBA. I was like, man, these dudes is tough. This is a whole different ball game now. You gotta work on your game. You gotta get stronger, get in the weight room, blah, blah, blah. But um, it was an experience for me because coming from Cincinnati, I knew I was the man. And I got drafted by the Lakers. I had to wait my time because I was playing behind a Kobe Bryant, a Rick Fox, or Eddie Jones, and you know, Robert Ori and Shaq was on that team. And, I mean, it was a learning experience for me, and it was great. You know, it was great just playing with the guy. Mm-hmm. What did you, Can you recall your first experience with the Lakers slash Kobe Bryant? You remember that? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I can say one day in practice because, you know, me coming from Cincinnati, my mindset was always play hard in defense, right? And I remember one time I was gardening, true story, and he gave me an elbow to my chest. So I turned around. I said, man, what the F you doing? Mm-hmm. And he said, welcome to the NBA, young punk. So he, he did it a couple of times, hit a couple of baskets on me. I said, okay. So it got to a point that we got to a – I was ready to get to a tussle because he was talking so much trash. Sure, sure. And it, sure. Went for, it went for Nick Van Exel and Corey Blunt, my former UC guys. Kind of grab him and say, Hey, you can't do that here. <laughs> but, <laughs> but man, I never seen a guy get to the gym early. He always in the gym four or five, four or five o'clock in the morning, excuse my language. Mm-hmm. Right you- game, 
Um, never went out. You know, we in L.A., we talk about going out. He ain't never goes to the club. You'll never see Kobe Bryant on the clubs. Mm-hmm. But he was always just working on his game, and man, and and it was just an honor to be a teammate and play against him and just battle for all them years. Mm-hmm. 